Hello and welcome to the most excellent musical Monster Jam. My name is Eddie Rocks and you're watching the show that focuses on local talent here in Savannah and across the coastal empire. This week, we debuted our very first Facebook Live. Yeah! All right, Facebook Live. Yeah. It's also a celebration as we break in our new set. So for our first guest, we chose Ray Tomasino. Ray Tomasino is a veteran of the Savannah music scene. He's also a good friend to both Will and myself. So let's go join Will and Ray right now. Hello, my name is Will Griffiths with the most excellent musical Monster Jam, and my guest this week is Ray Tomasino. How are you doing, Ray? Doing great, Will. Thank you very much for having me. It's good me. to see you. Good to see you, man. Well, Ray, tell me what you've been up to. Uh, playing a lot of music. Been pretty blessed. High velocity's busy right now. Um, also playing with Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter's pretty busy right now, and we're just uh, bringing in the music and doing what we do. All right. Well, so the people will understand what type of music you play. We're going to break down the high velocity. So tell us who's in high velocity. Tell us what kind of music it is. And tell us some of the places that you play at. All right. Uh, high velocity right now is a four-piece band uh, consisting of um, Glenn Smith on the drums, Ronnie Abel, bass player, and Tony Malott plays keys for us off and on, depending on if we're doing three or four-piece. Yeah. We've been going pretty good at it. It's just been staying pretty busy, and we've been blessed to have some good places to play. Yeah, where's some of the places that High Velocity plays oh, at? Oh, goodness. I know um, I've seen you at, uh, out in Pooler. I know that's yeah, one of them. Yeah, Hinesville, Pooler, Bootleggers, um, and uh, Richmond Hill, Flashback, Bayou downtown, and the warehouse, Doc's Bar, of course. That's kind of like home base out at Tybee Island, and we play a, a bunch of Bunch of places in between. How about Bounty Hunter? What are some of the places Bounty Hunter plays at? And who's playing with Bounty Hunter? Bounty Hunter is Brian Canada on drums, it's Jimmy Paulson on guitar, Ronnie Abel on bass, and myself on guitar. And uh, me and Ronnie, well, Ronnie does most of the lead vocals, and I do vocals with him on that. And we're classic Southern rock, old school stuff. We got some originals and things that we've done from the old days, and it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. In 35 years, we've been I was about to say, going. you've been doing that for a while. For a long time. A long, long time. time. All right, so what, well, you got any upcoming plans to record, or what you got going on? We're holding on a lot of things. There's a lot of, lot of believe it or not, it's crazy. Some good things have come down the pipe, but we haven't settled on exactly where we're going. We're going to stay playing and working on the festivals and things like that. And, um, Bounty Hunter's working on some new stuff, and we're just gonna see where we go from here. Yeah. Um, a lot of guys, we're losing some really good legends here lately. The music scene in Savannah's been doing pretty good. A lot of guys are playing, a lot of things going on. Uh, River Street's doing really well. City Market's doing really well. A lot of a lot of gigs going on there. Bucky and Barry and those guys play there a good bit, and they're doing really well. Yeah. And if you're just joining in, I'm Will Griffiths, and this is the most excellent musical Monster Jam, and my guest is Ray Tomasino. Well, um, we were supposed to play at the Jinx. One of our guitar players had a heart mm -hmm. surgery, but he's doing fine now, and we're supposedly going to be back out here shortly. Yep. I'm looking Prayers forward. out to Steve Prescott and his family, too. Steve's doing real good, I hear, he's, though. He's, he's kind of making a good comeback. Yep, he's doing great. Awesome, awesome guitarist, musician. Yeah. We had a pretty good practice last night. We were missing one member, though. Hopefully, yeah. he'll surface here soon. We'll remember, to... remember stray off sometimes. You just got to pull that leash just, and get just, them back yeah, in Yeah, we're just going to have to have a talk with that one. That's yeah, all it is, Sit him down. Some of the older bands and some of the newer ones, Thomas Claxton and Myth, again, like I said, it's going to be in it. Um, I know we're in it. I'm trying to think of who else is in it. I can't even remember, but we'll get it pinned up here shortly. Yeah, we might day. like to get into that. That, that sounds like that would be something we'd like to do. There's old Dave now Shepard. That, How that, you doing, Dave? That's the one we need in you. Now, that's a talker there, boy. Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, He's he cool. is. I remember he got, when I was with Medusa, he was one of the first guys ever gave us any airplay. I'm doing some solo gigs on River Street, which has been doing pretty good. It's the first time I've gone all acoustic doing that, and that's been a, that's you been a challenge. You play where the Rosakis 
Square Plaza? No, or? actually, um, some of the places on River Street, the Warehouse, Bayou, and um, uh, Lizzie's Tequila Bar. That's a real nice place. Some, uh, Shrimp Factory, all those places in there. And they're really nice folks dropping in from out of town and all and get a chance to do strictly acoustic stuff, which is really different for me. So it's pretty fun, though. It, it definitely gets you back on some of the old stuff you used to do. And we're supposed to have Greg Williams, who was, he's under the weather. So if yeah. you're watching, Greg, hello. We hope you feel a little better. Greg's cool. Greg's got a lot of stuff that he hasn't, uh, he, he's about to bring back out. I know he's rewriting some stuff, and he, man, he's been, that guy's phenomenal. He's just such a, a talent and a songwriter all in one. That's, That's really cool. Let's see, Greg wants to know how old we were when, when you started, I started playing. I started actually at 16 with a band called Trade Winds at that time. I know there's one out now, but that was uh, me and Edwin Powell and uh, Anthony Hewitt. We had a little three-piece band. What's it called? Trade Winds. We used to play down in, in Savannah Gardens at the administration building out there. And there and at the uh, Moose Lodge. At the Moose Lodge. Everybody's yeah. got to start at the Moose Lodge, man. Well, I started playing with Craig Nodlinger. Actually, he's the one who asked that question. I was about 15, too. <laughs> and uh, that's who got me into playing music right there. I'm, man, I've known Craig. I mean, uh, for a long time, I knew him. He uh, used to help me out getting right strings and things like that in music stores and all. He's a very, very knowledgeable guy. Very witty. Good guitar player, too. Yeah, yeah, Don't see, tell him I said that, though. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> he's funny. That David Baldwin, uh, who I haven't seen David out playing in a while, but Shane, his son, is playing. Yeah, I played, I've jammed with Shane a couple times. He's phenomenal. Yeah, Shane's a great His dad player. was awesome, but Shane is phenomenal. He's, yep. he's really... He's come a long, long, long way. He's uh, really knowledgeable on what he's doing as far as recording and setting up and things like that. And he's yeah. very, very good guitar player too. Very tasteful. Yeah. Yep, top notch. Yep. But I'd like to thank you for being on the show this week. Is there anything that you'd like to say to your fans? I want to thank you guys for having me out. I love being on the Monster Jam. It's very great in what you guys are doing. Also want to say, please support live music in Savannah. We got some fantastic people to support the bands and the music, but please continue to support it. We can't thrive unless you do. Thank you. Well, what a great time with Ray Tomasino. Thank you, Will and Ray. I tell you, being on the Facebook was so much fun. We got the chance to uh, read people's comments and go kind of interact with them. Uh, we look forward to doing that some more in the near future. Of course, uh, this week, this whole process has been delayed uh, by the hurricane or the threat of a hurricane. And we are looking forward to getting back to you, not this Tuesday, but the next Tuesday. So look for us live 7.30 on Tuesday. That's the most excellent musical monster jam. This is Eddie Rocks. See you soon. <laughs>